welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 43rd annual Carolina Balloon Fest here in beautiful Statesville, North Carolina. They call it one of Iredell County's most visited celebrations and the second oldest continuously running balloon rally in the country. Are you excited we came? Uh-huh. Yeah. Next year, what do you want to do? Ride one. Oh, you want to ride one, yeah. Here you go, bud. This showcase of ingenuity, safe ballooning, dazzling displays, and the art of piloting a balloon has its roots deeply planted right here. It was a lot of activity in ballooning that really centered on this state and this town of Statesville. Ride with us as we take you on a journey of aeronautical history and the generations of fans that followed. We're having a great time. Thank you. Glad to be here. Once a year in the fall, thousands come from all over, some from around the world, to embrace a tradition. Definitely a sight to see, something to do off your bucket list. Fire, fabric, and wicker are wrangled by world-famous pilots and sports balloonists. It's a fun way to give back to the communities. They are drawn to this rally because of a long and glowing history that goes back decades here. There were lots of challenges. The lore of the early days keeps pilots, their coveted crew, and spectators alike coming back for more. As long as I'm able, I plan to fly. Well, back then there weren't a lot of balloon events in the country. It was the late 1960s and early 70s, and modern hot air ballooning was still in its infancy. Tracy, he had a vision of wanting to start to manufacture balloons. It's a team, but Tracy provided the structure. Well, I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. These young entrepreneurs with a bevy of talents were encouraged by the concept of people floating safely above the ground. Seemed to be a lot of craftsmen in the area, a lot of people that know how to sew. Young aeronauts, Tracy Barnes. And a repeat of what we had this morning. Bill Meadows, Terry Wright. He was hooked. Dodds Medoc and Carl Steffen, see that that's still going on. along with lighter-than-air pioneers around the country, helped give birth to modern ballooning. Just people who would like to buy a balloon and go out and fly it on weekends like they'd go out and play with a sailboat or something. Iredell County was, and still is, the perfect place to test, advance, and push the craft's abilities. These nerdy engineers and children of the 60s diligently brought their individual skills to the table and together created some of the world's first modern hot air balloons. Full of spit, grit, and courage, a graceful aircraft was designed with childlike determination. Dozens of new balloon safety standards were invented here in the outskirts of Statesville, North Carolina. The top of the balloon that becomes a big valve to let air out of the balloon when you're wanting to come down to cool it off, then it would close when you let go of the rope because you could control the ups and downs of the balloon and when you landed, you could dump the air out of the balloon very rapidly. And that's the one that the Queen of England gave me the award for, a contribution to the safety of the sport. If only these fields could talk. Rayford was in real estate at that time, my husband. He thought it was great to have something going on like balloon manufacturing right there on his property where he could be part of it. We had a lot of fun. 1973. $50 a month is what we made the trade on and he mowed the grass. It was in an old dusty chicken house at the foot of the Brushy Mountains where pure magic happened. Enjoyed every bit of it. But it, it really worked good and had some nice fields around it where we eventually had the rally. We were just out there flying and having a good time. It was our reunion. Demand created the East Coast's first flight school, training brave souls to pilot their passion. If you got a good training school and you've got balloons for sale that they can actually touch and see and take home with them, you're going to sell a lots of balloons, and we did and we're now part of this very special club. Word of these lighter-than-air giants raised the curiosity of farmers and neighbors around the region. So the buzz just was created. <laughs> because they had never seen this before. Just the simple fact that we flew the balloons and they started flying all over the county, within a couple of years the crowd started showing up in the press. And it just gradually evolved into more and more balloons more and more people coming. 
And today, modern hot air ballooning has spread around the world. I mean, everywhere, even Malcolm Forbes, how nice it was to meet him and his two sons. For almost half a century, Carolina Balloon Fest has excited its fans with many memorable moments, like the Balloon Walker, John Ninomiya's unbelievable cluster balloon flight, Tracy Barnes' solar balloon, surprising special shapes, our famous balloon glows, and so much more. And it's just a wonderful thing to be a part of. Our must-tell story still burns bright and prompts us to never forget those early days and the creative minds who shared their passion with the world and with this small American town. The thousands of people over these 40-something years that have come, that have gone back to their communities and talked about what they just saw. And today. Which would bring more people back. And no matter the rough times. It was quite a journey. This community would never, ever let this festival drift away. It has made a lot of money that has been given to charities and has helped a lot of people in this community. You can't put a price tag on an event that does that. It's just great to see it and great to know that my dad maybe played a little small role with his love of flying and helping Tracy get his business up here. That band of brilliant thinkers who forged something phenomenal in the world. Rayford is one of the key reasons that Tracy went here rather than the Greensboro or some other city. And their creativity that evolved into Carolina Balloon Fest, the exciting celebration that put Statesville on the map.